Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Tata Web Wheel Armored Personal Carrier is India's first amphibious infantry combat vehicle designed for optimized survivability, all terrain performance and increased lethality. It is a versatile amphibious platform which can be adapted for various uses provides limited firepower and cross country mobility to troops who are at present without any such support the trials of wap have been happening for quite some time under various conditions and terrains we have seen some recent pictures showing wap in lay air base along with an indian air force c17 glowmaster 3 few days back tasl tata advanced systems limited had also tweeted about wap that it had conducted successful trials in Ladakh. Now there is one recent video about WAP that is going viral on Twitter, which you can see right now on your screen. The release date of video is not confirmed. However, we can clearly see three WAP in ready to deliver conditions. The vehicle was rolled out freshly baked from Tata Pimpri plant in Pune. We know that Indian Army has not placed any orders for Tata WAP. However, there was procurement request of 6 WAP for paramilitary forces with 7.62 mm PKT machine gun as a primary weapon. Two configuration requested by paramilitary forces outside the vehicle includes pedestal assembly for gun and sight and ammunition box. Sight and gun is to be mounted on the same cradle with integrated drive for gun. The configuration also includes joystick for gunner from inside the vehicle with provision to zoom and fire the gun at various speeds and elevations. It will also include required control panel and display. The few other prominent design changes include raised driver station for better visibility, more thick armor and more number of firing ports. While the paramilitary forces have went ahead with the induction of Tata WAP in small numbers, Indian Army is yet to place order for them. It is however expected to have inducted into Army in small numbers but not yet confirmed. While the turret of Tata WAP which you could see in the video does not look very sophisticated but it has been designed as per the requirement given by paramilitary forces. WAP features a modular design which means turret of any choice can be fitted with WAP depending upon the requirement. The very prominent turret seen on Tata WAP is of BMP2 which is definitely very economical option but not an advanced one. Till date we have seen three turrets mounted on Tata WAP. The BMP2 turret features a 30mm auto cannon 2A42 and anti-tech guided missiles or a 30mm auto cannon with PKMT 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun, AGS-30 grenade launcher and an anti-tech guided missile. Tata WAP had also showcased two excellent turrets. The first one is Kongsberg Protector MCT-30R with a 30 mm MK-44 Bushmaster chain gun as a main weapon though this can be swapped for a larger or smaller chain gun. The MK-44 fires the complete orbital ATK family of 30 by 173 mm ammunition including the ability to program and fire the MK-310 air burst munitions. The Protector MCT-30R and M151 remote weapon stations can be seen on WAP in Defense Expo 2014. It features Protector RWS which is Commander Independent Weapon Station with an integrated Javelin missile launcher. The MCT-30R also features a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. This is an excellent and proven turret which is widely used in many APCs including American Striker. Tata has also offered WAF with Elbit UT-30 MK2 turret. This again is a configurable turret with MK-44 ABM 30mm gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. Anti tank guided missiles are fully integrated with turret and turret fire control system, laser warning system, and optional smoke grenade launch system is also included. 
it has options for both manned and unmanned turret. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.